Tom Clark's 30-Minute Fun Show is a Boink Studios production. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Boink Studios. And check us out on boinkstudios.com, where you can see all of our projects, past, present, and future. And now, on with the show. Up. This is Tom Clark's 30 Minute Fun Show. I'm Tom. Say hello to the boy. Hi-ya. That's very uh, musical of you that time, kid. So, uh, how's everyone today? Welcome to the show. Glad you are with us. It's been a while since we came to you. The last time we were here, we were um, uh, going to Heroes Con in Charlotte. We had a lot of fun. Spent a little bit too much money, perhaps. But we had an all-day event that day, and it was cool. Uh, so we enjoyed it. Um, speaking of the con, right now as we speak, the San Diego Comic-Con is happening in California. And yours truly has been checking out some of the footage, some of the panels, some of the trailers that's been hitting online. The trailer for uh, the new Defender series on Netflix is very cool. Check that out if you get a chance. It's awesome. The new Justice League trailer just dropped um, at the Comic-Con. Um, you guys know how we in the Clark family feel about the DC uh, uh, Cinematic Universe. Still, uh, The jury's still out on that one. And it is now raining again. It's now raining again. Always got to bring the rain. That's what we do. Yep. We make it rain. We're like Okada. How you jinxed us. How's that? Ourselves. Because you said that um, we're... You, getting too much rain and then you say it's now getting too hot and now you say that we need more rain yeah but it's to rain more. well it's summer i mean that's what it does it's like 112 degrees and then it thunderstorms for like 30 minutes and then back to 112 degrees again so that's summer here in the south so there you go but um yeah, we bring the rain. We're like Okada in New Japan. We're the rainmakers down here, folks. We bring the rain every time. So there you go. But um, also the new Stranger Things season two trailers out. Yeah, I seen that. Did you see it with me? You no, didn't see it with me. I didn't me. watch it, but I seen the cover. You gotta watch it with me, man. Oh crap! There's lightning happening. And it just struck straight down. Yeah. Well, you never know. Maybe it struck someone and gave them superpowers. Yep. Maybe it's Thor, and or it's, it could be Shazam. If you need a DC reference, yeah. there you go. It's funny. <laughs> Everything that happens around us, we always associate it back to comic books. Isn't that funny? I've done it my whole life. If I don't associate with comic books, I associate with pro wrestling or maybe both sometimes. Um, we're fanboys, folks. What can I tell you? So, yeah, I'm excited for the new stuff coming up. The new Infinity War uh, trailer dropped at San Diego Comic Con. It has yet to be released online. However, I did see a bootleg where someone taped it on their phone or recorded on their phone as they were watching it. So, it's pretty awesome, by the way, just so you know. Um, let's see what else is going on right now. Uh, so, we also checked out the uh, trailer for the new Walking Dead. Which, I, you know, I gotta I be honest with you. Walking Dead? You can't see. You're eight years old, kid. So? Let me ask you people out there a question who have kids. How do you feel about a kid watching, like, zombie material? Because, like, I have a problem with it. Because the boy wants to watch. And uh, and I don't want him to watch. Because anyone out there that's ever followed The Walking Dead knows this can be a very, very gruesome show. And um, it's just something you don't want to do, kid. Why are you itching to death back there? I don't know. Man, did something bite you again? It's funny, man. We we are we are um, insect food. That's what we are. Yep. I don't know about any of you guys out there, man, but when insects see me coming, they're like, "Oh, it's buffet time," and uh, they put on a, a a bib and they go to work. And um, yeah, it's crazy. But uh, I can't be outside very long when there's like uh, nature, <laughs> so I get eaten alive. My legs get like destroyed and 
I'm itching like crazy, kind of like you're doing right now. Could be your allergies, by the way. Of course, you know, they, they always say that the rain is supposed to calm down the allergy. Yeah. I don't know. If that's the case, then you shouldn't have had a problem at all this year. But, you know, all it does is rain here in the south, man. That's what it does. How are you guys out there? What's going on with you? This is episode number 24, in case we didn't tell you. Maybe we did. If we did, you got it twice. There you go. Um... Things have been okay for us, man. We've just been living life, doing our thing, you know, um, still uh, repping Boink Studios. By the way, check out boinkstudios.com. This is the first podcast we've done in a month, and uh, we got to get back on the stick on that stuff, but um, the columns are still coming. WWE Battleground is tonight. By the time you listen to this, it probably has already taken place, perhaps. And we'll see what happens there. Randy Orton against Jinder Mahal in a Punjabi prison match for the WWE Championship. AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens. John Cena versus Rusev in a flag match. New Day versus the Usos. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Baron Corbin. All this is fresh on the brain, you understand, because I've been writing about it for like two weeks. So There you are. Uh, yeah, if you hear that we noise. We're going to eat again. We're going to eat, because that's all we do. There's two, it's like the Rainy Food Podcast. Yeah, the Rainy Food Podcast. Yeah, the Food Storm. I don't know. Tom Clark's 30 Minute Food Storm. Yeah. Because that's all we do. Like, we chow down and we get rained on. Mm-hmm. And um, have we ever done the podcast when it's like snowing or something? No. I don't think we have. have we? Maybe we have. I don't, I'm not sure. We never have. Yeah. So. Um. This, uh, um, I don't know, is this the is this the, our, our year anniversary? Wait, when is July 22nd? July 22nd. Um, yes, yes, what? Yeah, that's nothing, it's a piece of crap. Oh, so, yeah, guess what? This is our year anniversary show. And by the way, welcome to the year anniversary of Tom Clark's 30 Minute Fun Show. Oh my God. Yay. Isn't that funny? Yeah. I forgot, man. We were looking at the episodes the other day and I said, dude, we're coming up on the year anniversary of the show. Yeah, because it was the first episode of the July 22nd. So. That's right. And we just passed it by a day. So it's uh, July 23rd for us right now. Don't know what day it is for you, but today for us it's July 23rd, the year of our Lord. And we are a year removed from beginning the 30-minute fun show. Very cool. 24 episodes. You know what that equals out to? Two shows a month, and that's it. That's pretty sad. Yeah. Because we've we've lagged somewhat. Hey, man, what can I tell you? Life happens, dude. We get busy. Work, school, all kinds of other stuff going on with us. So it is what it is. So have you enjoyed your summer so far? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes, you have enjoyed it so far. Yes. Good. I, uh, um, the boy has been trying to keep busy. He's been swimming. He's been staying the night with friends, and you know, goes outside quite a bit. Tries to enjoy the weather when he doesn't like burst into flames and whatnot. And um, yeah, man, it's uh, the summer. It, it seems long, but then when you end up going back to school, you're like, oh my god, it's over already. You know what I mean? I know. And and dude, they're already putting back to school stuff out everywhere. Yeah. I know you're not looking forward to it. I can't I blame hate you. Hate school. Well, don't say hate. That's a bit harsh. Why? But it's stupid. But you gotta have school, man. No, you, I don't. Yeah, you do. You don't want to be stupid, do you? you I didn't think be so. Stupid if you don't go to school. You will be stupid if you don't go to school. You gotta learn stuff. You gotta just like. George Bailey said, and it's a wonderful life. You gotta go, gotta go to school and see what they know. Then you gotta go see the world. That's the truth. Then we gotta be all quiet in third grade. <laughs> Do you because have to be all have, quiet? Because we have to be in stupid EOGs. What does EOG stand for? Um, EOG. Uh huh. EOG. What's it stand for? Um. It must stand for something. End of. Uh huh. End of grade? Yes. Well, that doesn't make any sense, but okay. Well, don't worry about something until it happens. We as a people, if I may soapbox for a moment, we as a people stress far too much about things that have yet to happen. 
or, th- or we stress about things that maybe won't happen. I am just as guilty as anyone else out there is of that doing that exact thing. So, yeah, it's something we need to learn as a race of people to just relax and calm down and take it easy sometimes, man. You know what I mean? It's a hard lesson to learn, I know, but um, the stress that we have as people is just crazy. So, uh, yeah, the boy's been busy. Um, we've seen some movies since the last time we spoke. We went to see what? Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, and it was so good. Yeah. Yes, the vulture. Michael Keaton is amazing. Such a good flick. Um, we highly recommend it. Boing Studios gives Spider-Man Homecoming five stars. Thank you very much. We need to start reviewing movies and stuff. Wouldn't that be cool? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I could get you to do something besides playing. Just so you know, if, if it almost says a cuss word at the end, it doesn't. Yeah. There's a great moment at the end. We're not going to spoil it for you, but. Yeah, it involves Aunt May and Peter. It's really freaking cool. But, uh, yeah, it's. it's uh, Funny. It's a funny movie. It's it's a, it's action and adventure, and it's got some surprises along the way, things you don't see coming. That's the oh my god. Yeah, the OMG moments, right? As they say. <laughs> and uh, pardon the traffic, folks. We are making our way through town today. To go get Wendy's. We're gonna get some food, and we took the long way around so we can bring you this show. Because I don't like stopping and starting. Like it, you folks don't know any better because it's it's like instantaneous. But for me, I hate it. But uh, yeah, man, it's been cool so far. Um, I've been trying to relax. I, I've cut back on my output. Ah, uh, wow, dodge. yawning it up back there. Are we sleepy? Dodge. Where's the dodge? Back there. All that truck. No. 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 Oh, I see. My bad. Missed it. But yeah, man, if any of you out there have followed me as a writer for a while, then Panthers! you... Panthers! What was that? Panthers. Heck yeah. Let's don't talk about that garbage. Panthers are amazing. Yeah, amazingly uh, bad. Nope. Yep. Yeah, we live in Carolina Panther country, folks. No one down here can think for themselves. So everyone has to pull for the home team. And you get those fair weather fans that like don't care anything about football until they make the playoffs. Then all of a sudden they love the team. Then when the team loses, they never wear a Panthers thing again until the next season. It's funny. I like the Panthers no matter what. Well, that's good. That's what a real fan's supposed to do. You made me lose my train of thought, kid. I forget what I was saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. So for any of you out there who have followed me as uh, for a while as a writer, then you know that my creative output has not been what it has been in recent months. I've been kind of pulling back a little bit, man, for the sake of my sanity and for the sake of um, Mazda. Uh, not being exhausted. If, if that car was so awesome, it wouldn't be getting towed right now or yeah. hauled, whatever's going on. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm trying to relax a little bit, not uh, spread myself too thin. But I'm still riding for Bleach Report. Been there for seven years strong, loving every minute of it, so be sure you follow me there. But, yeah, man, back to the road, back to traffic. I know you guys can hear the rain. It's crazy. Um, it's it stopped and now it's back again. There's been some bad storms happening lately, man. So, how do you feel about the rain? Great. You feel great about the rain? Yeah. Why? Yeah. You can't really do anything in it. Sure Besides get wet, right? That's right. all well, you can at do. At least when it rains at school, we don't have to go outside. Thank God. Why? Because it's too hot outside? Yeah. Every time we go outside. Every time. Ah! And everybody's just, everybody's just like, can we please go there? Well, most of the time you love going outside. Most I of the time. I hate going outside. Yeah, but, so then why do you always want to go outside the minute we get home? I don't. You do? <laughs> you love jumping on your trampoline. You love playing with the kids next door. You love riding your bike and, and uh, jumping on the pogo stick, which you rarely ever do. By the way, I kicked my foot on it this morning. It was not pleasant at all. <laughs> that is not funny, boy. Yes, Nothing about that's funny. It's very funny. It's an old cliched thing out there, man. But it's true that and when you it's black and green. That, okay, it's a cliched thing to say, but when you have mm-hmm. kids, man, you end up stepping on stuff and stubbing your toe and kicking your feet. And it's, and it's funny as crap. It's flat out ridiculous, and it hurts. That's the problem. Because someone leaves their crap in the floor at every yep. turn. 
So be sure that your kid doesn't end up being a little doofus. Do what you can. So you're not a doofus all the time. Sometimes you are. Well, at least you admit it. See there? You've accepted your fate. But we will not allow this to be your fate. You have to be better than this. This is why you got to go to school. So you why don't end up being a doofus. Well, maybe they're very trusting people. Maybe we've somehow time traveled back to the 50s. Where you can leave your door open and trust your neighbors. And not everyone was out trying to kill each other and stuff. <laughs> Speaking of time traveling, i got to get back to the book I've been, I've been reading. Stephen King's novel, 11-22-63. And uh, I took it to on vacation to the beach, and we had a glorious time at the beach. Have we spoke about the beach on the show? Nope. We've not, have we? We've went to the beach since we last time we recorded. By the way, <laughs> we had a great time at the beach, didn't we? It sucks going back home. Yeah, but let's not talk about Beds that. Let's... Were comfortable yeah. as heck. Don't say heck. So we did have it. We did have a great time, didn't we? Yep. It only we had rained. A water slide. It only rained one day. You love the water slide. I took the book. I got over halfway through it. I was happy, just to kick back and read and relax, not have to answer the phone, not have to do anything, just be us. Yep. Yeah, just be calm, be chill. That, uh, I wonder if there's a golf, golfing range. What about it? Closed down. Well, it is raining, son. No, I mean, like, closed down. Why would it be closed down? Because. It's not closed down. It's on a golf course. Please. Look, there's dudes out there playing. I've played in the rain before. Yeah, yeah man. Mm-hmm. I have. I've played golf in the rain before I quite a bit. Me. Long time ago, man. Mm-hmm. I swear I used to go golfing like two to three times a week, sometimes more. Mm-hmm. I haven't been in years. I don't even know that I can still even hit the ball. I couldn't hit it very well when I did play. Mm-hmm. What all we do at the beach? Tell the people where we went at the beach. Um, Broadway at the beach. Uh huh. Um, we went to Dave and Buster's. Yeah. Always a fun time. Yeah, and um. We went to Pirates Adventure. Yeah. Or Pirates Voyage. If you ever f- try to find a hotel, find Ocean <coughs> Reef. We highly endorse Ocean Reef here on the show. Ocean Reef is the most amazing place to stay. I don't know about amazing, but it was a good hotel. It was clean. It was quiet. Yep. Comfortable bed. Really comfortable pillows. Yes. We had an ocean front, which was really nice. We paid too much, but you always pay too much when you go to the beach. So. Yeah. There were, and there it were, took us over five hours to get there. Well, yeah. But we stayed way, way down past where we've ever stayed before. Yeah. The good part about that was there was hardly no traffic. Yeah. Which was awesome. Uh, we got to cross the road like really easily. It was like not a problem at all, which was cool. And uh, it only rained one day, and that was the day we went to. Yeah, but that don't really count. It was just kind of drizzling that day. But we um, um, we actually went to see the pirate show that day that it rained, and it was uh, it was awesome. I forget how many times this was since we've been to the pirate show. I'm thinking at least four. Four times that we've been. It's a cool show every time. We endorse that show here on the program as well. Just like anything else, man. If you go see yeah, if you go see Medieval Times, if you go to Medieval Times or if you go to the Pirates Forge, it's all pro wrestling. You got good guys and bad guys and they're they're having fights and you have a story and then a you have a conflict and a resolution. Holy crap, that was just that was a big chicken as big as your head. Where? Fire was there a chicken? Yeah, remember? How come I don't remember the chicken? Remember? No. For the um, dinner? Oh, you mean that we ate? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was good. We get a half chicken. Yeah. Get a half chicken. So you get a breast, leg, thigh, and a wing. And it was as big as your head. Well, it was it was pretty good size. Delicious food, man. Mm-hmm. That's part of the. Especially that dessert. Yeah, the apple, what is it? Like an apple pie kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's expensive to get in, but part of it is they feed you, of course, while you're there, and the food has got to be top-notch, and it is, yeah. so... <laughs> so, yeah. It was good. We enjoyed it. So. They got to bring two kids down to help them. Yeah, they did, yeah. But that sucked, because I wanted to be... 
I think you kind of have to sign up for that to begin with, don't you? Yeah. Or do they just come get them out of the crowd? They just come get them out of the crowd. It was fun, though. Unless they're one of the, um, you... the um, pirate kids. Well, I guess it's possible, right? Because your servers have to go down there and dance around and stuff and have yeah. swords and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Makes you wonder what those guys get paid. Yeah. Probably $100 an hour a day. $100 a day? Yeah, I was about to say an hour. I was going to say. Yeah. Well, it's not really... It's not really that good. $100 a day is not. To be honest with you. I mean, well, I guess it could be. Sound. I mean, once you get taxed to death, that's the problem. Yep. Taxes eat you alive in this state, man. I don't know how the rest of you guys Snoop are out there. Snoop Doggy but... Dog. Where? <laughs> On the radio. Oh. <laughs> See... <laughs> Is this Snoop Dogg just going to be walking around North Carolina right now? Oh yeah, there's this one dude in the, um, in Great Clutz, and I said to myself that he looked like Snoop Dogg, because mm -hmm. he did. You say so. I didn't think he really did, but okay. Yeah, we had to get haircuts the other day. <laughs> I can always tell when my beard's getting unwieldy, because it becomes hard to eat. Because hair is everywhere. Yeah. <coughs> so. <coughs> nice cough. Um, yours truly has had the crud for a while now. That's one of the reasons why we've not been podcasting in like a couple of two, three weeks. Um, I've had this cough that I just cannot get rid of. And I've determined through my vast years of, uh, uh, you know, medical experience. Drawn <coughs> from my years as a neurosurgeon. I have determined that uh, it's a summer cold, and the cough is just not going away. I've been working on it. Um, I've been taking this really hideous cough medicine that, you know, if you put it on the wall, it should peel the paint right off the wall. That's how strong it is. Hey, right turn indicator, buddy. What are we doing? Look at this. Oh, boy. You don't... No one knows where they are right now, do they? Unreal. Jeez. Let me just... And he just did the illegal U-turn in the middle of the road back there. That's awesome. Yeah. People cannot drive. No. Let me tell you something else that's happened to us. And this is no joking matter, folks. Um, the boy was involved in a hit-and-run accident. I shouldn't say accident. Because you and her were run off the road. And I, I am not... Uh, I went on Facebook and I posted a little rant and it was not pleasant. And uh, I, I had people joking about it like it's funny. I'm like, it's not funny. Like, you know, I, I just... You know, this is the fun show. We're not going to get too crazy in the details here. But there's reasons why I get nervous about stuff like that. And um, Wait, yeah, why would... Why, what did people say about that? They just thought I was a little too overboard on Facebook with the stuff I said, but I don't really care. But um, we've not they've not caught him. They're probably not going to catch him. But just a, just a friendly reminder out there, folks, please freaking be careful. And don't let road rage take control because there's no sense in that stuff, man. If you got a problem with somebody on the road, blow the horn, whatever, but don't pursue them. That's insane. There's a lot of crazy people out there, man. Oh, we're going to have to like, start writing some new material because it's it's hard to be fun when it does nothing but rain the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> and then we get behind a guy doing 30 in a 45. Yeah. Oh, man. It's just one of those days, dude. I'm pretty sure we're cursed. Are you a bad omen? Yeah. I don't know. You might be. You've hexed us, kid. You've hexed us. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that's a bit harsh. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, man. What else is going on besides that? Well, like I said, the beach was fun. It was good to get away. Uh, Tom needed a break, and he got one. Tom could use another break. Probably not going to happen. But um, it was fun, man. I'm looking forward to the next vacation. Hopefully, we'll be taking it very soon. And now we were at Wendy's. Yeah. We're not going to really endorse Wendy's because Wendy's food is terrible for you. Well, I mean, it's good, but it's it'll kill you. It'll kill all of us. 
in the end. We'll all be dead because of fast food. But, uh, oh, hello. So, by the way, this is the first, this is the first time we've podcasted using the new iPhone 7. It may not be new to you, but it's new to us. We got the new iPhones after vacation. And uh, yours truly got an iPad, finally. And I'm actually thinking about getting an Apple laptop because I need a new computer. So we're basically, we're an Apple family in the house of Clark. Yeah. We sold our souls to the Apple Corporation. So, God help us all. But, no, nah, man, let me just put it to you this way, dude. I, I was an Android guy for a while, but I wasn't happy with the phone. There was something all the time. The first time I picked up an iPhone and started using it, just the speed with which you can shoot through the apps and bounce back and forth, I was sold. I was like, this is the phone I got to have. This is the phone I want. And uh, I've been happy with it ever since. And that's one, that's the thing, man. You're either Apple guy or you're not. And me and the boy, we're Apple guys. So, Although the boy's tablet is an Android, not an Apple. And we do have two it's Xboxes. Sam- huh? It's a Samsung. Yeah, Android. Yes. But Samsung is the company that wishes they were Apple. I mean, they're they're still working on it. I'm not saying they don't have good products, but it's not Apple. They're making a new phone called a Samsung S8. Yeah. Uh, no, a Galaxy. Look at that a guy. Galaxy. What is he? A rapper? Jeez. Dude's got sunglasses on. There's no sign of the sun anywhere. Quit. You're gonna make me see sick. <laughs> Motion sickness is a real thing, folks. Let me just tell you right now. It's it's, <laughs> it's fierce, dude. <clears throat> Meow, 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 That's your comedy for the day? Meow. That's terrible. You're like a really annoying cat. Is that what you are? Huh? Don't hit me in the head, boy. So, we should have had guest stars for this show. We should have done a one-hour special. We should have had um, some surprises, some balloons, some confetti, some party punch. Um, and invitations because you know how often you get to celebrate the year anniversary of anything but however we did not do that but this has been the year anniversary yeah. of our show <coughs> did you really just cough on me <coughs> cover your mouth my god sickly yeah. so how you feeling right now how you feeling about the show feeling good feeling great maybe one day when you get older you can do your own podcast you can make all the goofy noises you want to. Yeah. Uh huh. So, I don't know, man. A lot of stuff going on, dude. Do you know what I mean? A lot of stuff going on, but it's all good. So, we're not going to soapbox anything right now, man. I just want to tell you uh, from us to you, thank you for the downloads. Thank you for listening. Thank you for following the program. Thanks for supporting Boink Studios this whole time. Which, by the way, case we forgot to tell you if you'd like to go check out our stuff where can they go boinkstudios.com for what beach tell, tell them what all is there chemical block yep yeah, no uh, uh, no okay you suck so everything that's there is, is all the uh, um, all the writing by myself Man, the podcast um, you're disgusting kid all the Bleach Report content is there. See, I told you you were trying to be funny, and he's failing miserably. But, uh, yeah, man, go check us out, boystudios.com. So, hope you enjoyed I'm the doing show. A great workout right now. What's, what's, what do you call that workout? It's called the Doofus. Yeah, I don't know. You need to work out. We both do, actually. We okay, start hitting the gym. Let's go to the gym today. Yeah, what well, ain't going to be today? Can we go tomorrow? Uh, i got to work tomorrow. After you pick me up? Probably not. Got to go to the phone company tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That'll be fun. Tom Clark's 30-minute indifferent show. Woo! <laughs> I'm doing 30 a 30 minutes of ho-hum. Tom Clark's 30 minutes of ho-hum. I'm doing a split. All right, man. So we're out of here. Thanks for listening. This has been the one-year anniversary. Well, we're done, man. It's 30-minute fun show, right? We're done having fun. We gotta God. sign off and stop having fun. So, God, but listen, you folks keep having fun, keep supporting us, keep visiting the website, Ow. keep listening, keep the comments coming. We will answer all as we always do. 
Again, thanks for checking us out. Come back for episode number 25. This has been fun. Hope you had a blast as well. And that's it for us for now. See you around next time. Boy, hit them!